My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? cried out Jesus while hanging on the tree. It was the saddest word he's ever spoken when his relationship with the Father was broken. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? As Jesus in his deepest agony. Our sin separated him from God's presence. When on the cross, he took on himself our sentence. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Uttered Jesus in Calvary. It was the darkest hour when all creations in the Creator mourned together. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Jesus expressed as he felt total emptiness when he took our punishment in sinfulness. His blood shed on the cross made us stand before God righteous. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? It was Jesus' plea in place of you and me. We are no longer forsaken. Through Jesus, our sin was forgiven. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Was Jesus' last words before his last breath. Words he turned into a promise when he resurrected and conquered them, telling his disciples, I am with you always. Jesus, the ultimate sacrifice, obediently laid down his life. To him our sins were imputed for us and God to be reconciled. Jesus, our substitute, took the place of the destitute. Sin and death he has overcome. Life eternal is now ours. Jesus, the Son of God, crucified by man, he paid the iniquity of us all who are guilty. Jesus redeemed the people he highly esteemed, showing us his love unending and God's amazing grace to the undeserving. Jesus, the Lamb of God, in new pain and suffering, rejected and betrayed by the people he loved and came to save. Jesus restored our relationship with God the Father who showed us mercy and grace. In Jesus and through faith in Him, sinners set free can now call on His name. Jesus gave up His life to give us eternal life. He took our punishment. He was forsaken for us to be forgiven.